Mr. Steve Wishman, you have three minutes starting now. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a functioning Jeopardy game board in PowerPoint. Oh no, the audio. I was hoping to really blast you guys with way too loud noise. So, and we're, we're mirroring the right side? Okay. So basically a friend of mine and coworker asked me if I would make a Jeopardy game board for him that was functional. He wanted to be able to click into each of these tiles and be able to ask the question or the answer as it were because it's Jeopardy. Click again to zoom back out of it. The key is he wanted it to zoom. And once he got done going through all of the questions and answers, he could click on a hidden link in the corner to go to Final Jeopardy. And there's do daily doubles hidden in here as well. So the problem with this is that I normally would have used PowerPoint's great new feature, Slide Zoom, because you could set any of these tiles as a thumbnail, click into it, zoom to the slide in question, and uh, then on the next click, zoom back to your source. So basically, every one of those tiles would be a hyperlink to these hidden slides here in the rest of the presentation. The problem was that there was no way to make the numbers disappear. So the way to do that is we're using, oops, sorry about that. Now I'm screwing up. Okay, so <laughs> um, we basically assigned morph to every one of the destination answers, and underneath each one of the tiles where the hyperlink lives is the same exact text from that slide, just with the transparency turned way the hell down. So let me crank it up here. So we're using the same font, the same treatment for the text, we just have the transparency turned down. So when you click on that link, it takes you to the destination where the, the large version of the question is, and the morph transition handles zooming in and making the text become legible. As far as making the numbers disappear, that was the real trick. And so basically, each one of these is a text hyperlink, and what we did is we set in the design tab up here, in the customized colors tab, the followed hyperlink color now matches the color of the background. So basically, when you click on that hyperlink, and let me go ahead and just play it again. Sneaky. Right, so when, every time you click on one of these guys, it's taking you to the question, Morph handles the zoom in and also handles the, the opacity change of the text. Clicking again, we have a hyperlink set here on that one, so it takes you back to the game board, and now that hyperlink has been clicked, it becomes invisible, and you can move along with your game and, and go to Final Jeopardy. Wow, with 20 seconds to spare. I stumbled a bit in that. I was hoping it wouldn't go so, so rough. Awesome job, sir. Excellent. Well done.